OK, the devastating bushfires burning across two states have sparked a bizarre selfie trend. People are sharing photos of themselves showing off the face masks that they've bought to protect them from inhaling the hazardous smoke. Let's get today's take on this with Shelley Horton from 9honey.com.au and James Law from news.com.au. Good morning to you both. Good morning. Good morning. morning. Shelley, what do you think? I mean, the air is thick with this smoke. It is crazy, moment. right? Now, look, I'm actually not going to knock these people yeah. for, for doing the selfies because they've actually had medical advice that we should be wearing these if you are having prolonged time outside. However, like that sort of mask, I'm not sure if that one helps. It has to be, that certainly doesn't help. Mm. They have to be the proper mask that form a proper seal around yes. your mouth. So if you've got a proper mask like those, go for it. But if you're just putting on looking like you're a nurse like that guy, mm. maybe not. Yeah, James, some people are comparing themselves to superheroes. <laughs> That's a bit uh, off colour, isn't what it? What a bunch of poses, yeah. you know. <laughs> why, why, why do you have to turn everything into a fashion trend and put it on Instagram? I think mm. they look ridiculous. And you're <laughs> right, Shelley, like, if you want to protect yourself from the smoke, yeah. don't do this. The best thing you can do is just stay indoors. That's what the experts keep telling yeah. us. So. Leave it to yourself. Like, Some people we're not don't interested. have the luxury of staying indoors. Though. Like if, people if are working outside. Was outside very briefly yesterday, and and it was raining ash basically yeah, uh, in the inner city of Sydney, which is beyond alarming. Right, that is dread inducing. That kind of well, I've actually had a friend who's a landscaper who's had to pull back hours because he just said he can't be working out in the environment mm. the way it is at the moment because. He said he felt like he was a 30-pack-a-day smoker. Yeah, mm. yeah tradies, builders, people are out yeah. and about. It's yeah. tough. And every it. afternoon you're just getting that really scary orange I know. Sun. That sun. It's apocalyptic. Really yeah. Yeah. It's bizarre. Mm. Hey, Justin Timberlake, meantime, has issued a public apology to his wife, uh, Jessica Beale after he was pictured holding hands with his female co-star. Oh. He took to Instagram to say, a few weeks ago I displayed a strong lapse in judgment, but let me be clear, nothing happened between me and my co-star. I drank way too much that night and regret my behaviour. I should have known better. James, um, he's in a lot of trouble. JT, you dirty, dirty mm. dog. Mm. When I see this, I'm like, isn't it enough, JT? You are a really great singer. You're an actor. Yeah. <laughs> you can dance. You're funny. He's a good golfer. You're married to Jessica Biel. Married, married to a, one of the most beautiful women in the yeah. world, and yet still he's playing footsies with his co-star. Yeah. Like, come on, mate. <laughs> well, I mean, he, he says nothing happened, there's nothing to it, but he's obviously under a lot of pressure. Do you think mm -hmm. Jessica Biel was behind this post, Yep, <laughs> I would have been. Yep. I'm like, you that? have embarrassed her. Like, yep. she's been embarrassed publicly. Well, she's the one out there getting papped at the she, moment, too. I know, too. and mm -hmm. it's awful, yep. absolutely awful. So I think, yeah, she probably had a lot to do with it. I'm sure there was also an army of... PR people and crisis management official. official, you know, saying what he should do. Um, so I kind of do like that he owned it and mm. is showing that it, you know, it, it was a lapse. Foot. Well, it was a lapse of judgment and that nothing else happened because it could just snowball. Mm -hmm. But I just think, imagine what's going on behind closed doors. Yeah. I can't Arr! believe you didn't. Yeah. He is yeah. obviously yeah. very more. keen yeah. to draw a line under that one. Mm -hmm. Now, stay with us, Shelley and James, because when we come back, have millennials killed manners? The shocking amount of young people who wouldn't give up their seat on public transport for a pregnant woman. Mm, unbelievable. Mm -hmm. And why people born in December say they are sick and tired of everybody forgetting their birthdays. Dearie me. That's coming up. Welcome back. Well, millennials believe traditional manners are old-fashioned, with 40%, believe it or not, refusing to give up their seat on public transport to pensioners or pregnant women. According to a new study, modern faux pas include playing music too loudly, using your phone at the table, and reading someone's phone or social media messages. Jeez, there's a lot of stuff in there, isn't mm. there? Mm. Shelley Norton and James Law. Uh, we to discuss Shelley. I'm cranky already. <laughs> Apparently saying please or holding a door open is old-fashioned. My dad would have whacked me around the ear if I didn't As stand up for a woman. As he should have. Yeah. So here's the thing. I think millennials, and I'm looking at one right over there. <laughs> Who, me? Are so obsessed, yeah, they're so obsessed on their phones that they're not aware of everything around them. So all of the things that they think are important for etiquette are based around phones. It's like, don't look yeah. at someone else's phone, don't do this. 
But as far as I'm concerned, you can't get rid of the old etiquette and just adopt the new. You have to be standing up for pregnant ladies. You have to be doing the right thing. Look, of course, I agree with that, Shelley. But there are some old-fashioned ones that it's time to let go of. You like know? what? Like well, what? I think in terms of, like, <laughs> you know, women, you know, ladies before gentlemen and things like that, I think a lot of women these days find that a little bit offensive, you know, mm. like that uh, people, women have told me that. Like, it's like we're all equal. So I think that there's sort of some equalising that's going on between the genders in I some of these I think you can be equal and still just manners. be polite. Of you course. You know, at no point should you take offence because some, a man has opened a door no. for you. That's yeah. not an offensive thing I think to do. What about the standing? intentions are right. Sorry, Look, I, of, course, of course I agree that, that that's important, but I think that it, it's more that people aren't as aware of their surroundings as yeah. they perhaps used to be. And I think, mm. yeah, we probably are on our phones a little bit too much. Mm. And, uh, yeah, I think that people are probably just in their own zone and not thinking about each other as much. I had an awkward situation where a male friend of mine said that he went to stand for a lady on the bus because he thought she was pregnant, but she wasn't Ooh. pregnant. Oh, yeah. see, that's Orbeez. where it gets a little bit difficult, isn't She's it? She's still a lady. You want to be sure. <laughs> yes. <laughs> hmm? Now, between Christmas, the chaos of work, school winding down and holiday preparations, December is, well, it's an exhausting yeah. time of year. Exhausting. But those born in December are really quite hard done by, with most getting overlooked when it comes to celebrating their own birthday. Do we... Should we feel sorry no, and throw in yeah. celebrations for December babies? Well, I feel for them because, like, do you guys find this? Like, I feel like it's hard enough just to get your friends together this time of year just, like, yeah, for Christmas possible. drinks. Yeah. Like, it's sort of like they, they say it's like Tetris trying to get mm. everyone together on the same date. So for people who have their birthday, you know, you feel for those ones who have it between Christmas and New Year. You're not you're not getting made to feel special. My brother is born on the 30th of December. Oh, wow. The day before New Year's Eve. He's yeah. never had a party. He's, oh. Like, it's just not fair. But I've got a good friend whose birthday was the 25th of December and we were discussing it. He was about 30. I'm just like, you know what? Just pick a new date. So now <laughs> he has his birthday on the 25th of June. Yeah, good perfect. Timing. Just do it. Great well, and idea. your brother gets fireworks for his birthday That's every year. <laughs> <laughs> Can't turn your nose up at that. Well, well, well done. Thank you guys for coming Thank in. You. Have a great weekend. Coming up on Today Extra, Human Nature takes over the